I finally got this. I've only been waiting for, I don't know, 30 years. It might not have been 30 years, I can't remember when these were first released. Anyway, hi guys, Retro Trek Ralph here, one of the Star Trek Micro Machines unboxing. <sighs> I've got a few other Micro Machines I've, I've done the sets for. This is the collector's set number three. This is one of the rarest ones in the UK. You you can't find them. So let me drop one of these on, on, um, on yeah, face, Facebook on eBay the other day, and I had to get it. I got it for an absolute bargain price of 100 and, I think it was 102 pound. Somebody had bidded to start with, and, and uh, yeah, they didn't carry on with the bidding, but I got it for an absolute steal. I have seen these go well over 300 pounds years and years ago. You do not see these. This, a little bit dirty on, on the box. I've actually tried to clean that off quite a bit. Yeah, there's still a bit of feel on there. Could do have been a bit more polished, but crack down there but it's notorious for those anyway for that part there this shows all right micro machines if you get this collector set one and two that's most of the first i think 10 or 12 um small blister packs with three in it <sighs> there are some things in here which you can't get anywhere else literally you can't get that anywhere any other box set you got box set one you had the enterprise um a or enterprise refit whichever one it was you couldn't you could get that as the special one there and you could get it in other packs as well So they did conjure a little bit pack two had the all good things all, all, all good things set That was only in that set the enterprise E is only in this set There are other Mac machines that actually continue a little bit on like the bird of prey with the folding wings That is a very rare one. There are some other Voyager ships that are in the latter ones need to get those Those are a fortune but set three, this he said it's never been opened. One of the sides had got the tape cut, and there are little bits on the edges which I can potentially repair with a bit of marker pen or something. I don't know, but it's 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 still there. Every single one of these has got the wires on it, which is going to be an absolute nightmare to unpack. Back of the ship, oh, back of the box now. So we've got seven from Deep Space Nine, Bajoran. Camarian, Saratoga, Obsidian, um, Cardassian, Enterprise E, you've got a space dock shuttle there, and you've got stuff from Voyager. No next generation stuff, no original series, but you have got the original movie sp uh, space dock shuttle, which is so Star Trek, definitely Star Trek 4 and 5 potentially. I don't think we saw it anywhere else, maybe 6, not quite sure, but. Let's get into these, shall we? Like I said, I've been after this for an absolute age. It's a shame that the box was a bit iffy, or this front was a bit dirty as well. But, yeah. In with the bag of stands. These kind of yellow quite quickly, it's quite weird. Since it was never used, but they did yellow. <sighs> My biggest problem now is, I do want to show you them all. I don't want to go, look at that, here's a ship, yay! But I've got to unwire all of these because every single one of these, the wire has got a tape on it. So, oh, actually they haven't. There's just wires on them. Because usually they have the wire, then a piece of cell tape over the top of it. So, give me a couple of minutes to unwrap all of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 models. And we'll have a closer look at them. Right, 20 minutes later, that was a lot of faffing to do. So let's go from let's go from the top and work his way crosswards. So we have, with no need to introduce the Enterprise E. And if anybody hasn't seen the new series three trailer for Picard, close your ears now because there's the Enterprise F in there. Mmm. Okay, so obviously micro machines don't bother doing these anymore. They did for Star Wars, so they might consider, well, consider a little bit. So we have a, yeah, not too, too badly detailed. Got the right nacelles, better than the Playmates model, which I haven't got. A bit under on there. Let's detail on the back. Mm. 
big hole in the bottom for the stand, but there's nothing you can do about that. Not sure if this is probably the Nemesis. Well, what with the Nemesis, I don't think. I think these were out in early's. Were these early? Actually, they will be in the early 2000s. Hmm. So this might even be the Nemesis or the first contact version. They just basically moved the pylons back a little bit. That's all. A little bit plastic bent and that's not in the right place, but a bit of a heat gun. If I could be bothered and I don't want to destroy these, could potentially do something with this. So that's the Enterprise yeah, sorry, E. Right, next one. Bajoran, again, yeah, Bajoran Fighter. Okay, so a nice brown design there. A few different tones, like a green over the top there. Very big wig span, and then comes round like a hawk. It reminds me of the hawk ship from, oh, uh, Book Rogers. But well, this was definitely, it's one of those ships that they found, I think Kira found, and it was kind of tried to get back to Deep Space Nine because it was a wreck but they managed to build it and work on it and stuff. I'm not quite sure if that's meant to be there. If it's meant to be a landing leg but they just didn't couldn't be bothered to design it. It's a nice bit of work underneath there for a two-part model. And that second part there comes, yeah. So that's quite nice. So still on the Deep Space Nine ships we have the Gem Hadar ship, bright purple. Very bright purple. Oh, come out a little bit. Whee! There we go. Love a bit of detail on this. Always reminds you of a big bug. I mean, no markings for the actual name of the ship. Very nice colours. And look at with all these micro machines. There were no branding marks on them, so that was good. We haven't got um, cursed by those sort of things. Oh, very nice, very nice indeed. Still on Deep Space Nine. Is that, is that that way or that way? Yes, still on Deep Space Nine. This was Captain Sisko's old ship when he was first in command, the USS Saratoga, destroyed at Ball 359. It's very similar to the Reliant because it is a Miranda class sort of ish, but without the, the bar on top with the phaser, phaser banks, and the torpedo launchers. Just as basic as you could get, but still a 23rd century ship flying around still in 24th. We saw a lot of these, like the Soyuz with the middle bits on top as well. Captain Bateman's ship, was it? Let me have a look on there. Got a registry number on there if it'll focus in. Yeah, three, one, is it eight, seven, seven, nine, nine, one, one, sorry. So it's just a rehash of the Reliant model, which is fine because it was the same class. It's like having an Enterprise 1701 refit and a 1701A. It's the same class of ship, so why not? Very nice. Now, going away from Deep Space Nine for a second is the travel pod. Is it a travel pod? Yeah, shuttle. Dock shuttle. And this was shown, it was kind of, there was being followed on the way to finding the Enterprise A inside Space Dock. It's strange there's big coils on the back of here, but I suppose your front part is going to be your cab and then the rest of it is going to be engineering parts anyway. Not bad this one. Shuttle 5, they're always from a 5, that's Galileo from the Enterprise itself. Hmm. Is that dusty or just, no, it's not painted properly. Hmm. I mean, I suppose if I ever got a 3D printer, I could continue making stuff like this, which would be nice. There's a little bit of work doing up there as well. Right, to go back, well, go over to, actually, to be honest, this is the Marquis Raider, which is Marquis ship. We actually saw this on the Voyager Caretaker episode, the first one. I think it was in a couple of times after that, in, in flashbacks or something, as well as being in, oh, this is pushing it, the Next Generation episode with Ro Laren in it. <sighs> yep, no idea. But yeah, this, to be honest, we've seen this one on quite a few of these in Eagle Moss anyway. It looks a bit more squashed in, like like could do with being a little bit longer. It's not a bad looking ship, to be honest, for the what you get with this. Yeah. There's a hell of a lot of detail underneath. It's really nice to see. Still a very much... It, it's got... 
It's got designs of Voyager with the, the, the sloping front bit with this grill part on the front. Was obviously the designers of Voyager went straight in making this as well, trying to make a bit of a, a shuttlecraft, which is Federation, but not. Now with these big wings on the side with the guns. Hmm, possible, maybe not. Talking of the Voyager, now. 74656 is the Voyager's number. So have a look closely at this. That is nice. That's not, not bad at all, that. What the heck is that? Um, that's not meant to be there. Um, are they being attacked by a space-born alien? Better. Okay, I don't know what that was. That's not supposed to have been there. I'll pick the rest of that orange bit off later, I think. That definitely was not supposed to be there. So, this very strange ship having the warp nacelles which bend up and I'll show you that properly in a second underneath lifeboats big number underneath there deflected dish huge hole underneath phase of banks so I wonder if that was a piece of paint that has been missed over from when they've done the thrusters so we have the Voyager these do Unfortunately, the way the mechanics goes, this goes, flies off to warp by, rip, up they go, and then off it goes. So it was meant to be some sort of, with the, oh, it was the, the, the slowing down on the speed limits on warp speed, it was meant to have been a, 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 it bends warp differently. But, um, it can go downwards as well. Oh no, oh well though. Doesn't that look like the, um, quite much like a, a Probert model? The Voyager because they were under slung. Mm. I'm gonna be upside down. Nope. Okay, let's stop faffing. They're just basically pushed in with a, a tab in the in a little clip cla clasp, yes, on holding each nacelle in place. They are quite thick, but this is a toy. This is what we have to figure out in his heads. That these are toys, these are not collectible models, these are toys. Yes, toys. So now we are back to Slum Voyager, although this wasn't a Voyager ship. This is the, the Namari ship. This was actually in Unification, the first time I think I saw it. It might have been different, painted earlier in Next Generation, but it was definitely the Smuggler's ship that blew up because it was too heavily armoured. And they hit it and it just basically blew itself up. But was repurposed, like a lot of these ships are repurposed, as... A, a, another different alien. Where's that on there? That's a little bit of touch up on top of there as well. Hmm. The sense has been um, never opened, as we saw by the wires. Yeah. There's a few things on here which do a little touch up. Nice dark. There. So now we're going on to a Kazon. First Kazon out of the um, out of the two. Kazon fighter. This is a nice purple and and pink, but it looks beige on the screen sprayed over so it's not a solid colour so this would have been a smaller ship I never understood why that's like that is it kind of because it will it land and, and that would be up in the air or would it just hook on now it's like a really weird fish I don't know and keep this thing still as I can uh, the engines on the back Pay attention to the models. Yeah, lovely. So what's next? Now, this is another one that was, it's a Kleistron ship. Now, I do remember seeing this a few times in Next Generation, and I can't remember where, when, and how at present. If you do know, please comment in the, um, in the comments below, surprisingly. But this was definitely another reused ship over the decades of Star Trek. I mean, it kind of makes you think that maybe the owners of the ship sold on the, the actual designs of somebody else and they upgraded it, shall we say, for their own Star Starfleet. Yeah. But according to the box, this is from Deep Space Nine. I'm sure, it, I'm positive it was a next generation. It might have even been is it this one or another? No, it's a different one. I'm going to say there's one from the Gambit episode, but that's actually right there. But that's not showing it from the Gambit. But let's go for a, another ship on here. This is the Voyager shuttle, which was replaced by the Delta Flyer. 
I think I actually do prefer this one to the Delta Flyer. There's a nice big shuttle, very big cockpit, and nothingness. So you think everything's going to be in the pylons and the nacelles for the actual engineering stuff. You can just make out the USS Voyager on there with a the number. Did never actually named or numbered the shuttles, which was quite weird. I think this did say this one might be the Cochrane, but I'm not entirely certain. The shuttle bay was quite small anyway, so they must have had a big replicator on board so they can actually make more, because they did destroy a few of these anyway. Hmm. Very nice. Very deflected dish on the front there, same as the Voyager. Anything underneath? Yeah, just the number. Very nice. Next we have the Obsidian. Whoop. We have the Obsidian Cardassian ship. So the biggest difference between this and the other one is this big section on the back of here is added on and these side fins because it was just that and it kind of that raised up a little bit this this two little prong on the back which then led to this and then the bridge section at the front so it's a bigger ship than the Cardassian standard variant which remind me of kind of fishy type of design all the um, fins and stuff on these. The Cardassians definitely don't look like fish. Hmm, nice. Next, we're back to Voyager again, if I can get that one out. And we have the Kazon. This was the Kazon's mothership. So this was the first one that you saw in Caretaker. It'll focus, thank you. So you did see this. I remember because you see that sort of angle and it looks absolutely huge. Although in the hand here it looks really tiny. So the fighter would probably fit somewhere inside shuttle bays or whatever. Would be quite small really. It's very beige and purple. Again, didn't realise they were purple to be honest. One fin at the back, these two sections come down here. It's like a massive sensor section but this was a really big ship. Like scorch marks on there, but they're not. Well, they, they, they might be. Who knows? Hmm. So, next we actually, I actually thought there were two K's on ship. There isn't. There's a K's on Raider. So, this is very similar ish to that one with having the uh, part on the front coming down, and then also these huge wings on the sides. It says, well, trying to keep it in focus. It's got a lot more detail to this. Yeah, this would have been a smaller shuttlecraft ship, the Raider, Raider ship, so... Yeah, in, out, done, job sorted. Is that battle damage on the side of there? Can we see? Kind of... No, it's the Kazon badge. Yeah, cool. So very much like the back end, like a Cardassian ship as well. Like that Obsidian ship with these winglets that come down. Ah, we have a one or two of these with, with the actual stamp, make a stamp on there. Hmm. It's like a sheep's head. Hmm. So we have two more to go. And we have this one and the, these mandibles at the front are bent up like crazy. Plastic like this does have this sort of a, a problem. So I could easily heat it up with a heat gun on low power or hair dry would probably be better. And then just bend them down, maybe put them in cold water to freeze them off. Done. So this is the uh, Mirrodorn ship. This isn't the Mirrodorn ship because this was in Gambit. I'm not sure which came first, Gambit or Mirrodorn. Because this was the ship, the, um, oh, the, 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 the rebel ship that they were trying to look for the Vulcan artifacts with. But well, again, reuse of ships it was always prevalent in Star Trek, Next Gen, Voyager, Deep Space Nine. I mean, even with Picard, they reused, for no reason at all, they reused the shuttlecrafts from Discovery. So that was a bit wrong. Unless they just thought, it's retro. Mm. Two impulse engines on the back and a couple of lines there. Yeah. So last but not least, we have this one. The Chimerian ship. Chimerian vessel. I think I remember this one. There wasn't this one the Chimerians were in the other week's episode of Lower Decks. 
when they actually went to Deep Space Nine. It was a good episode, that one. I mean, it's bent to shape, out of shape, but it, yeah, I'm not pulling this out to, again. That's not a problem. It's going to stay as it is. I mean, these are all very simplified designs of the actual classic starships, which they had to be. They could never put them at level of detail of what you got with the ships anyway in these. But, like I said, these are very rare collectibles now. The Mac Machines stopping production on these 20 odd year ago. It's just ridiculous how rare these are. Like I said, I've already seen this one on eBay, and I know I could get more for selling it than what I've actually paid for this, but I am not paying. I am not going to sell these. I'm going to keep them as they are in the box, wrap it up, keep it in the garage. So, there you have it. That is set, collector set three for the Mac Machines. All I've got to do now is rewrap them, them all back up again and put them in the shelf and I can display them. So anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Please like, share and subscribe, follow me on social media, consider being a Patreon to help out the channel as best you can. Comment down below and I'll see you in another video. Bye for now.